Well, summer camp we know can be such a nice change of pace for children. And this week, some campers have learned there are more kids like them than they may think. News Channel 5's Hannah McDonald takes us to Camp Hope, a camp for burn survivors. So what you want to do is you put on one of these. Tie-dyeing teaches us like that. to trust the process. Whenever you unfold it, it turns into this little separated thing that makes a beautiful color. Jesse Adkison is one of 28 campers at Camp Hope. What am I supposed to do? Jesse is at this summer camp. And we'll do our router board, okay? Because he spent time at the Vanderbilt Burn Center. It's for people who are born like me. Six to 16 year old burn survivors are welcome here. My first year here, I had like one of my favorite nurses was my counselor. Abby Harlow came to camp after gasoline thrown on a fire spread it to her body. Eventually, like whenever you grow up, it gets a lot, it gets a lot easier because you realize that it happened for a reason. And like this, like you get to come here every year. And it makes me different from everybody else. I have something to talk about, somebody ask me. Tell them. The camp director, a nurse, gives these kids kudos. These people go through multiple surgeries, skin grafts after skin grafts. We have to use um, good skin to cover up burn skin, so we make a fresh wound where there wasn't a wound, so it's even more painful. And we're gonna trace this out, okay? It's gonna make a lot of noise, it's gonna vibrate, but I'll help you, okay? To have kids that go through that, it breaks my heart. But the best thing about it is, these kids, like I said, are resilient. Check it out. Including Jesse. Good job. Who, as a baby, was burned in a house fire. And also why it's called Camp Hope is because it has hope and it's a camp. Even at nine, he understands exactly what Camp Hope is out to teach. You can have hope, like hope that you feel better. Hope like you heal. Hope like you do better doing better these kids already seem to be after just two days together. Done. In Columbia, Hannah McDonald, News Channel 5.